it's confirmed the Canon EOS R5 is coming. No longer a rumor, but are the rumors true about the amazing specs on this camera? to make this video today to share with you guys the news on the Canon EOS R5. Now if you've subscribed to the channel already you will know I am a Canon shooter and I make regular videos on Canon cameras. The truth is Canon have gained a reputation recently for releasing cameras which have been rather underwhelming in the specs and features department. So when the EOS R5 was rumoured, which was reported to have 8K video, 45 megapixels, 4K 120 frames per second, and animal eye autofocus, which can lock onto the eyes of flying birds, it felt like the rumour mill had gone into overdrive. So here it is, what's the truth? What has actually been revealed by Canon? This is what you can expect from the Canon EOS R5. You're gonna get 8K 30 frames per second of video, and this is going to be uncropped. Now this is unprecedented. This will put Canon firmly in the lead in the video department and will put pressure on the likes of Sony, Panasonic and Nikon. What's even better about it is Canon will feature their dual pixel autofocus, which means autofocus on your 8K video. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Also 4K at 120 frames per second. This is being confirmed. I didn't expect this, and this is another reason why the EOS R5 sounds like it'll be an absolute monster in the video department. Add to the fact that you're going to be getting Canon's fully articulated screen on the R5, really what else could a video creator ask for? Let's talk photography for a moment though. What's being confirmed here exactly? Well, Canon has confirmed there is going to be IBIS or image stabilization in the EOS R5 camera body. Something not found on previous Canon cameras, and I know it's been something a lot of Canon users and other photographers have wanted from Canon's next offering. Now, the amount of stops of stabilization is not being confirmed, but I would expect it's gonna be somewhere between the four and eight stops range. But if you add this into the new RF range of lenses with their impressive stabilization, I'm really excited to see how well this is going to perform together. I would imagine that you're going to be able to shoot as low as say one uh, second exposure and doing this handheld. The Canon EOS R5 is going to come with twin memory card slots. This is another area that photographers have wanted from their next Canon camera. The question is though, will it be CF Express or not? If so, it would be a perfect outcome as writing speeds will be instantaneous. Something that wildlife photographers will be ecstatic about is Canon have confirmed the R5 will have animal eye autofocus. This is a brilliant feature currently found on certain Sony cameras, and it's going to allow wildlife photographers to lock onto the eye of their subjects at distance. But Canon have said this, this is going to include eye autofocus even on flying birds. Mind blown. If this is definitely the case, the computations involved in making this work will be next level and will certainly be an impressive leap forward in current camera technology. To add to this, the burst shooting speed has been confirmed at 20 frames per second electronic shutter and 12 frames per second mechanical shutter. So this is going to be plenty quick enough for wildlife and sports photography. One thing that photographers have been interested in knowing is how many megapixels the R5 will have. Now you probably know that megapixels are not quite as important as all the emphasis that is placed on them. But the truth is though, that this is one thing that Canon has not yet confirmed. But this is what's been rumored. The sensor will be 45 megapixels, which is certainly impressive. And in all honesty though, I have a feeling that it might be a little bit lower than this. And here's why. Canon have confirmed 8K uncropped video. And to make that work alongside a 45 megapixel sensor will take a high amount of processing, which is gonna cause a lot of overheating. And you, you might experience this with Sony cameras. Also, you might get lag on this if the megapixels are so high. I would actually imagine the sensor is gonna be between 35 and 40 megapixels, but I hope that I'm proved wrong and Canon has actually found a fix for this. 
One question hanging in the minds of everyone though is what's the price of this camera? Well, I don't know and nor does anyone else, but I can tell you one thing, it's gonna be very expensive and it's gonna be for established professional photographers with deep pockets. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to join our growing community here at Ben's Guide. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.